YouTube viewers. It's Thursday and uh, it's the morning of a, um, a, quick, um, a quick run in the Model T. So taking it from here to a place called Nangara, which is uh, roughly hmm, a, t a 30 minute drive, I suppose, in a Model T. And then from there we're going to the coast and up the coast for a bit. Um, for lunch and then come back. So it's going to be pr roughly a half a day trip. So um, I'm starting. Uh, we've got our headlight uh, cloths on. Hot tip from the old fellas. Keep them wrapped up and they don't corrode or uh, tarnish nearly as much. Uh, I'd set off a um, set off a, a pest bomb or a number of pest bombs, nine if I'm not mistaken, in, uh, in the workshop here because of a spider crisis. And um, some of it's fallen out on the bodywork, but uh, I'm not going to do too much. I've only really got um, 30 minutes before I need to go. Uh, I've already checked the oil, uh, which is fine. Um, I'm going to put a bit of um, ATF in the timer. That needs a little bit of lube every time. And uh, I've checked the air in the tyres and we're, we're good there. So so pretty much ready to go, I think. Uh, I'll check the fuel level too. I neglected to uh, put the uh, shut the fuel tap off. And when I came to the workshop a week later, it was um, really smelly and looked like it had been leaking. So I just need to make sure I haven't used it all. So I'm going to take a, as much footage as I can and uh, we'll see you on the road. Alright, it's 10.45 and we're uh, getting set to go. I think there's roughly 10 of us going. And uh, as I don't have a navigator again, I am going to follow. Okay, so we're on the road. reasonable weather, it's cool, uh, only going to be a maximum of 20 degrees today. Uh, I actually got rained on a little on the way here, sort of a cloudburst situation. Anyway, um, she's running beautifully and uh, there's a 1912 in lead convoy there, uh, followed by a 1915. And of course, this is a 1914. All right, I'll put you down. All right, sit wrap. About uh, 15 minutes into the journey, and um, I bloody got stung by a bee right there. So I've taken my wedding ring off because um, I do swell up pretty good. Yeah, just flew in and uh, I noticed it fly, it flew into the cab and I kind of just ignored it, but then forgot it was here and it was on the steering wheel. So when I put my hand on it, yeah. Nice trip though. Yeah, the, uh, the 9 in 10 up in front is. Uh, has got a full a full tour of people. There's, I think there's four people in there. Yeah, going at a pleasant split, a pleasant speed, I would say. We're just registering some temperature on the gauge. And just registering temperature on the gauge in front. Uh, something tells me these cars were designed for this, just puttering along. Yeah, that's how much throttle I'm carrying. And, uh, yeah, I find uh, Advanced Retard does little. Other than when you're trying to start it, of course. The 
see if you can tell the difference. Okay, I'm gonna retard it a little bit. There you go, about a third. Ah. Anyway. Man, that's stinging like a bastard. All right, got a challenging corner coming up here, so slow it down. Bring the speed right down. Oh, Sid rep, we've got a bit of rain. Um, <coughs> bee sting update. I'm feeling pretty average. My bloody um, inside my head's itchy. Like in my ears, right inside there. My armpits are itchy. Heart rate's up a bit. I'm probably just going to turn around and um, end abort mission when we get there. My hands are swollen. Anywho, I'm feeling fairly subdued, all over aching. Yanchep Inn. Okay, well, that's lunch over. Um, we've got a, a wet old afternoon and um, <clears throat> sit wrap on the old bee sting is that I'm feeling much better now I felt really really ordinary um, I never thought I'd get an itch in my sort of head, my throat, my mouth and all over body aches like you wouldn't believe but anyway so we're we're cruising home now. The car's misfiring a little bit. Well, it's actually gotten a little bit better. The deluge, I think, um, wet some electrical components. Uh, it really did piss down for a period of time. So I'm following a Hupmobile. And uh, I've got Google Maps set as well. Because again, I don't have a navigator. But yeah, it's a, a pleasant enough uh, afternoon's drive. The roads are really quiet, and um, and it's reasonably flat. One of the blokes did come up to me, and, he's, and he uh, gave the uh, rear wheel a bit of a wobble because he said it looked like it was um, slightly cocked to one side and looked like it was falling off. Not not what you want to hear, but. Uh, it's all good, I think. I was surprised that there's so many farms in this area. Looks like strawberries. Here's a little hill for us. And yeah, we're backfiring, not backfiring, we're missing a bit. I think we're catching the, uh, the Hupmobile. Yeah, okay. I better slow us down a bit. Model T superior pulling power. You're just lugging along. It's nice to get some use out of it. Okay, I'll put you down and I'll bring you out closer to home. Oh, I'm motoring along still. So to our right is a uh, Pinasta 
pine plantation and uh, these were imported from Espanol back in the day yeah we're doing 52 kilometers per hour quite a lot of uh, Excuse me. <coughs> Quite a lot of cars are passing us as you noticed. We've got about 30 kilometers to go. Well, we're not far from home now. And uh, yeah, it's, the heavens are opening. It's surprisingly weatherproof actually. The channels of water do run down sort of onto the floor. But being wood with lots of gaps in it, it's all G. Yeah, so in summary, um, we, uh, we met at one of the fellow club members' houses. He had a vast array. <coughs> Excuse me, that's bee sting related. My throat's a bit funny. Um, he had a vast array of veteran and vintage cars. Uh, but he chose to take his Model T today. And uh, yeah, then it was a, just a drive through some of the back roads to a place called Yanchep where we, uh, we had a, a quite a nice lunch. I felt like I was gonna die for probably an hour of it all. No kidding. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it, it, it bucketed down right there. So we kind of waited there for it to ease up a bit. Um, and the trip to here, it's about, it's about 60 kilometers each way. And I've got about, five to go. Um, you look at it through there. Yeah, it's teeming down. Uh, yeah, so it's been mostly pleasant and I don't mind getting wet. Um, it's not too bad. So anyway, I'm going to put you down. That's the, uh, that's going to be my outro for this video. I hope it's been Pleasing. Looking forward to getting this hand soaked. The swelling's gone down quite a lot, which is good. Getting some antihistamines. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll take you out on a new one soon.